Hello everybody. I'm not going to be on here long, just for a little bit. This is Rita with Restyle Renewed. And um, I'm just starting the first of the painting on this dresser. This is the one. This is just a little dresser. And this is the one that's getting the um, adorable flamingo paper. Let's see which way does it go. This is the one getting the adorable uh, flamingos. Adorable. So I'm just going to do a, some quick painting. Um, and so I thought I would just turn the camera on. And I'm pretty sure I have decided to do the blue on the drawers. It's a really bright blue. And then the rest of it is going to get, um, this is Bungalow 47 paint. And the rest of it is going to get this amazing color called Boho Killam. Let's see here. Can you see that? The sun, the light's kind of funny. Super bright pinkish. So this is going to get the papers, but I still need to paint it. You don't want to leave it raw. Even if you're doing decoupage, um, if, you, even if you're doing decoupage, you want to make sure that you still paint your your underneath part and this is the incredible hardware for the uh, dresser so anyways I'm still gonna paint it and it probably is gonna need uh, two coats of paint So I wasn't too worried about the front because I knew I was going to get uh, put paper on it. So, you know, I didn't have to be super, super cautious about, uh, you know, how I filled everything up. How I filled up the holes and, and dings and stuff like that because I knew the paper was going to go on here. is a really pretty blue. I don't know if you can tell how pretty this blue is. And remember, this is the one that I did. Remember I filled in all the holes and stuff with a chalk paste. This is not wood putty, it's not wood filler, it's chalk paste. Um, and it has done a really good job. Sanded it all down and I'm just going to use it if I need it again, if I run out of wood filler. So I think what I probably will end up doing is... Um, I probably will be painting these. Uh, it's gonna, I probably will do a super bright, well, I think I'll use this pink, because we wanna go with bright, right? We wanna do really bright um, hardware that's gonna go with that amazing paper. So I think I'm gonna end up painting the hardware, the uh, bright pink. So even though this is going to get paper, I'm still going to do, uh, you know, I'm going to do a really good solid two coats on here, even though I'm decoupaging it. Happy Father's Day, everybody. So we had our kids, uh, we had our son, 
and we had our son and his wife and our two grandbaby boys here yesterday for the day and then today our daughter came by this morning and she just left recently so we've had a nice uh, family time having our kids and grandbabies visit that's what we did If you guys um, are looking for some really great decoupage paper, uh, this is a really good company that I order my paper from. It's They have incredible, um, really sort of unique and fun paper, spoon flower. So that's normally where I get my paper from. And they also sell uh, fabric. If you like to work with fabric, and some people I know decoupage of fabric. Uh, they also sell fabric. And what they do is they have a, a print and then they will make that print in uh, gift wrap, fabric, and what's the other thing they do? Gift wrap, fabric, and something else. It's a really, really good company because you can get really unique things, right? If you go to TJ Maxx or something, then there's a chance, um, you know, a good chance someone else is going to have the same thing as you. But if you go to a company that has like millions of options, there's a pretty good chance that nobody else will have that pattern you choose. And their pattern is artists, it's from artists. And they just have really, really cool designs and just different stuff. So we're not going to worry, we're not going to worry about, you know, what's showing through. Because remember, this is going to all be decoupage with my flamingos. But I still am going to do another coat. And this is just a cute little, it's not really tall, it's kind of a smaller dresser. So I thought this is the perfect dresser to do something totally wild and crazy on. Uh, like the flamingos and really super bright colors. I normally do use uh, bright colors, but this is like crazy, crazy. I'm really loving this paint. I'm kind of new. Hello everybody, Zayna Chastity and not quite sure how do you pronounce your name. Hell, Hella? From Denmark. Oh my goodness. Thank you for tuning in from Denmark. Wow, that's amazing. You are far, far away. Goodness me. So this has, you can't see, but it has primer. Um, hey Zayna, thanks for tuning in you guys. So this has a primer on it. You can't tell because I use shellac, which is the primer I use almost always. Uh, I, I absolutely love shellac. It's got two coats of shellac on it. So it does have a primer. And I might do something in this section too um, that I might do something that's going to coordinate with my flamingo paper. Hello from Florida. Hi. Oh, Florida. Look, Florida. Flamingos. <laughs> you know about flamingos from Florida. So I don't, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with this section, but I'm going to do something. Because we want this piece to be crazy. And is somebody going to buy this? I have no idea. But I just can't let that stop me. When I do my designs, you can't think, right? If you think, oh my word, no one's going to buy this crazy piece, you'll never do anything. You won't create, right? You're just going to create boring pieces. So you have to just go with what you want to do. And you just have to hope for the best. 
and if it sits for a long time and you have to redo it well then you have to redo it and I have had to do that I've done a couple insane pieces and nobody bought them so then I just you know do something different with them and that's totally okay I'm okay with doing that but I just don't want to be um, I don't want to stop you know I want to be able to be as creative as I want to be able to be and you just don't know like you don't know what someone's looking for in furniture right so just go for it the green boho piece that I posted about the one I just finished with the crazy uh, patchwork stencil on the front that one just walked out the door I have an artist friend here uh, in Chattanooga and she bought it so that one is now sold So this color is called Boho Killum. So this is a type of, it's kind of like a chalkish, chalkish type of paint, uh, which is my favorite kind of paint to work with. It's the kind of paint I, I like this chalkish kind of paint because you can really manipulate it, right? I do a lot of stuff to my furniture. Um, I use waxes a lot, all sorts of different waxes, and I do decoupage, and I do stenciling, and chalk kind of paint is really good for accepting all sorts of stuff on top of it, so that's why I use chalk paint mostly, and I love wax, so when you want to change something with wax, chalk paint is really, really good paint to use. So something, I, I need to do something down here too um, after I get the paper on. And somebody asked me about the iron method. The fling, I know, aren't they cool? Somebody asked me about the iron method for a decoupage, but I don't do that method. I find that doesn't work for me. So I do the old fashioned method of, um, yeah, I agree, <laughs> crazy. I do the old-fashioned method, you guys. I just use wallpaper paste on my decoupaging. I don't know if you guys can use the iron method and it works for you. That's good, but I find it doesn't work. So um, I just, I just like the old-fashioned methods. Yeah, sometimes we just have to do crazy, right? And we just have to hope for the best. Because you can always redo, always. And you just don't know if there's somebody out there who's going to love your craziness. But these colors are exactly what the exactly what the paper is so I couldn't believe I had this leftover blue from another project and I just thought oh my word that goes perfect with that crazy paper so I dug out the blue and I think it's gonna go really well with this bright pink Happy Father's Day, everybody. Let's see, Denmark. Is it, do you guys have Father's Day there? You guys are probably on a totally different calendar than we are. Now these drawers sit on the outside so you don't have to worry so much but typically you know I have to go in here and I paint the insides right because um, the, it'll show if you don't paint the inside a little bit. I just found some incredible pieces you guys. 
and I'm going to show you guys sometime this week what I found. I found amazing sideboards um, and some cabinets, so I will come on and show uh, what I found. They're gorgeous. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with them, but I think the one sideboard, I think I'm going to do turquoise with drips and then um, somehow incorporate some hot pink. But I'm not sure yet. It's like I need, I have something right here I forgot to fill, so I'm going to have to come back and fill that in. Okay, you guys, tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is the day. The big uh, reveal of all the new product, all the new transfers and molds coming out. Um, I'll be up tonight posting it. Make sure everything's on the website. I haven't gone to see if someone's posted on Facebook. I don't think we're allowed to post yet until tomorrow. But there's some amazing transfers coming out and some amazing molds. And they're all going to be posted on the in, in my online store. So that's exciting. Oh, I'm forgetting to paint this. I think I might add, um, I think right along here I might do a colored wax. I'm not sure yet. Right along the edge here, or I have some gold. I have a gold transfer I might put here, but I don't know yet. I'll see. look at all this you guys this is what uh, this is that chalk paste it works so good for covering for covering stuff up so this is going to get a few coats of paint and I probably will have to do something here too oh yeah I have a stencil that's right I have that um what's that stencil I have a, a palm tree palm leaves stencil I'm gonna do across here that's right so this will all be stenciled with the um, palm leaves. Is that what they're called? Palm leaves. And I think I'm going to do it in the bright blue uh, coming up here in some sort of a pattern. So it's going to be crazy. Is this color not amazing? This is truly an amazing color. It's kind of, it doesn't have coral in it. What is it? No, it's really different. It's a really different pink. So we're going to put a good three coats, I think, of this on here. This is a really old dresser. This is about, let me see, what did she say? I bought it from a lady here. I think it's about 80 years old, this dresser. And I bought, uh-oh, something just went flying. I bought it because of that hardware I showed you. The hardware is crazy gorgeous, and that is why I bought it. Well, plus it's a tiny, it's a really small piece, and I thought, okay, 
with it, such a small piece like that, that's going to be perfect for doing something uh, kind of out there. And so another reason why I wanted to get it. So everybody in my uh, painting group gets to follow along with me. I show them everything that I do to furniture, and that's the way I teach in that group. Uh, I just turn on the camera, and I go live in the group, and they get to see how I do everything. So I just come on here every once in a while, kind of show you guys a little bit. So the, the group is for people newer to furniture painting and want to learn all sorts of different finishes because um, I do all sorts of different stuff. So that's what the group is for. It's good for people who want to learn a lot of different finishes, you know, other than just putting paint on. There's so much you can do to furniture, right? It's a monthly uh, subscription group. So it's on the website if anybody's interested. It's drying really fast because it's so stinking hot today. So the paint is drying really fast. I think in fact I can probably do my second coat here fairly soon on the drawers. Hello Debbie. Debbie is from Scotland. Is it Father's Day over there too? Father's Day here today. You guys probably don't have the same days stuff going on as we do. Oh, it is. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, my goodness. So it's the same over there. Well, that's interesting. Huh. I'm really liking this paint. So this is just coat one. So with coat one, you don't have to be as careful as you do with your other coats, right? You're typically, your first coat is quite thin, and then as you build up, it's, you know, it looks better and better. Mother's Day is a different day. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought you guys had a different Mother's Day.
So don't uh, don't be thinking, oh my word, her painting is terrible. Gets gets better. The first coat always looks hideous. That's typical when you're working with um, chalk type of paint, which this one is. I just love this color. I think I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do something else with this color. This is amazing. Joey and Rainy here in PA. Second one, seven arrived. Oh gosh, chilly and rainy. That's no good. It's super hot here today, Lori. Super hot. Very, very sunny. Very hot. We have had tons of rain this year. So I understand that part of it. But yeah, it's today is really hot. I saw somebody post, I think it was in Colorado, or they had snow like a couple days ago. Crazy weather everyone's getting. Okay, this is what I see right here. Can you guys see? Uh, can you see what's happening here? This drives me crazy. So I'm going to have to get my sander out when I'm not being careful. Uh, I just talked about this in my group because I'm doing a really fancy sideboard that's from France. How was the grand opening? Oh, it was good. It was good. It looked like it was really busy there all day. Um, I just kind of popped in in the morning. I sold one thing only, so that's not good, but it's something. But I think they were really busy. So right here, I just talked about this in my group. Um, you have to be, I'm, I'm painting a sideboard that is super fancy, right? And so I'm being extra cautious in how I paint. And when you're painting the lip, I have to make sure that I don't want to do this. See how the paint here is collecting, right? Because I put on too much paint. So that's a good thing about doing really thin coats. Um, it's collecting here. And then when you start building up layers on top of it, you're going to see that, right? And it doesn't necessarily mean when you go and sand to smooth, it doesn't, it's going to be, you're going to have to do a lot more sanding here. So I have, I'm being super, super careful with that fancy piece. I do not want any buildup on that piece whatsoever. So I'm doing my first coat that I just did. It's super, super thin. Because it's hard to get rid of the buildup that happens when you put on too much paint. So another reason uh, that thin coats is really good. Because buildup is just, oh, paint buildup is just awful. Hey, I'm almost done, you guys. So then I have to go in and I've got to get on the website and make sure I have everything ready for all the, um, tomorrow, for the reveal, for all the new product from Prima so that people can shop in the online store. So I think I'm done for now.
I can see the drawers are already dry. Already, this stuff dries really fast. How did this happen? So I'll come on this week and show you all the amazing furniture I just found. Um, it's incredible. So see how well these colors go with the paper? Just goes so well, hey? Oh, I have to do the top. I haven't even painted the top yet. So this is going to get one more coat. I'm going to go ahead and do the I'm going to go ahead and do the other coat now because then I can um, I can start the decoupage. I'll start the decoupage tomorrow. So I'll do that um, I'll do that in my painting group. Everyone gets to see. They get to follow along on all my pieces and see how I do everything. It's this, the second coat is going on really well. Like it's just, that's the difference between coat number one and coat number two, right? There's such a huge difference. And even when you're doing a super thin first coat, it's the second coat that it just starts, everything starts working on that second coat. And I always do, right before I finish, I always do long strokes so that I'm trying to eliminate some of the brush marks, right? So it helps if you can do uh, some long strokes, right? Trying to get rid of those. And I am going to do something to the sides of the drawers. I have to do something crazy to the sides because the piece is... Uh, crazy so I have to I don't know yet what I'm gonna do but I'll do something crazy to the sides I might I might maybe put some of the paper on the sides I don't know or I might oh I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stencil I'll stencil I'll do some hot pink stencils on the side maybe with that um, stick and style stencil roll do that in hot pink or uh, hot pink and blue, two different colors on the sides of the drawers. It just gives something, when you're doing a fun piece with fun colors and weird patterns and all that, makes it even more fun to do um, something on the sides of the drawers and inside the drawers. Hello, thanks for joining. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. This paint is drying so fast because uh, it's so warm here today. So I don't know what's happening today on Facebook, but um, you guys will have to take a look at one of the transfers coming out. 
one of the ones being revealed tomorrow. It's called something like Rose Burgundy or Burgundy Rose. And it is unbelievable, you guys. It's a huge transfer. It's like 46 inches wide or something. Um, and it is pinks. It is bright pinks and burgundies. And it is absolutely stunning. So they're all going to be posted. I'm working on that tonight. They're all going to be posted and available in the online store. And you can just shop away and buy. And then they'll be uh, they'll be shipped out. I think sometimes beginning of July we get them. So you have to pre-order, and then they're all going to be shipped out pretty soon. But that transfer is going to sell like mad. It's going to sell like mad. It's going to be out of stock in no time. There, second coat done, just like that. Yeah, I think it's 40, it's either 44 or 46. I'm pretty sure it's 46. It's a huge transfer, bigger than Rose Celebration. Uh, so now that Prima has three, still just three huge transfers, but it is gorgeous, you guys. You're going to have to take a look at it. All right, that's it, you guys. I'm going to wait before I do any more coats. Oh, no, I have to go up there and do the top coat. I have to go up there and paint the top. So you don't want to me get you don't want to see me stand up try to stand up and get up there. So I will finish here and um, I will see you guys again sometime. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it.